I'm going to teach you an eating strategy to maximize muscle growth. It's called intermittent eating. This is not intermittent fasting, though the concept is similar, where you have eating periods separated by fasting periods. Muscle growth is a constant battle between muscle protein synthesis and muscle protein breakdown. Muscle protein synthesis is the buildup of amino acids to form muscle protein, whereas muscle protein breakdown is simply the breakdown of those amino acids and therefore the muscle. After you eat a high protein meal, amino acid levels in the blood rise to spike muscle protein synthesis. If your next meal comes too close after your previous meal, then your amino acid levels in the blood, particularly leucine, will still be too high to create another spike in muscle protein synthesis. So you need to wait long enough for the amino acid levels in the blood to be low again after your last meal to spike muscle protein synthesis again. But you don't want to wait too long or you'll have too much muscle protein breakdown and therefore muscle loss. But what is the ideal spacing of meals to maximize muscle protein synthesis while minimizing muscle protein breakdown. Evidence from the lab and the real world suggests that eating every three to four hours is ideal for maximizing muscle protein synthesis while minimizing muscle protein breakdown and therefore maximizing your overall muscle growth. In fact, one study published in the journal Nutrition and Metabolism found that college age males eating 80 grams of protein after a leg workout had higher muscle protein synthesis and net muscle protein in the actual leg muscle when they split that 80 grams up into four doses of 20 grams of protein every three hours compared to when they split it up into two doses of 40 grams every six hours or eight doses of 10 grams of protein every hour and a half. In other words, eating every hour and a half was too soon to maximize muscle protein synthesis and eating every six hours was too late to stop the excessive muscle protein breakdown. Therefore, if you truly want to maximize muscle growth, space your meals about three to four hours apart, not much sooner or much later than that. Here's an example of what a 200 pound bodybuilder would eat in a typical day using the intermittent eating strategy if he trains at night. Meal one or breakfast comes around 9 a.m. Then four hours later, he has meal number two or lunch around 1 p.m. Four hours later comes dinner around 5 p.m. Since he trains at eight, his pre-workout meal comes at seven, followed by his post-workout meal around 9 p.m. and ends his day with a before bed meal at midnight.